All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are in Shunda, the land of the best Cantonese food in the whole world. And I'm so pumped because today we're going to go for a huge street food tour. Check it out. Get ready to experience some of the best food in the world right here in Shunda, a quick one hour drive from Guangzhou in the south of China. Locals from all over South China make eating pilgrimages here solely to eat. And today, we're doing the exact same thing, bringing you to try four delicious Cantonese delicacies with us. So make sure to watch this whole video, because we have some special treats for you. And at the end, we're bringing you into the back of a Cantonese kitchen to watch the chefs prepare Cantonese sashimi, fried cicadas, and more. Let's eat. Awesome guys, we just drove out to a little neighborhood outside of Shunda to search for some of the best Cantonese roast goose. Should be right up here and we're gonna feast on that. Oh, Tai Hao La. Look at this guys. Wow. So this is the Cha Shao roast barbecue pork and then we have roast goose here. And these are made in a charcoal furnace. Oh yeah, and you can see he's just, he's got, oh that must be the liver, the ugan. And we're gonna take a look and order some of that up. Oh, Tai Hao La, look at this, guys. We found roast goose delight. What you're about to see is one of the purest forms of goose mastery. And we had no clue what we were about to experience. But first, we gazed in awe at the cutting technique. Just watch the mastery. Lai 太好了。Oh. We just got invited downstairs to check out the oven. The, the Shao uh, oven. We're going deep, guys. Traditional. Traditional roast goose oven. Oh, he's gonna pull, he's gonna pull a roast goose out for us here. Oh wow. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, Guangdong de Shao. Liman Fang, Zajaka, Shamajang. Swan Mei Jang. Oh, Swan Mei Jang. Swan Mei Jang sauce. Young way, it's not a oh, your yozima. Young it's a little tens of Swan Mei Jang, you'll make Ganjo Mayo Jimmy Yo. Oh, Mayo Naman Yo. Mayo, the cook, the woman to Jen Yi Liman. Young Jig Yonzi. Young woman, woman, it's to say, Eva Tissin. Oh. So when you eat the plum sauce on the goose, it's a little bit less oily and it's sweet and satisfying. After learning a little bit more about the goose, Master Chef Leo came downstairs and pulled out another one to give us a closer look before bringing us back upstairs to give us a full duck preparation demonstration. Look at this guys, we are in the roast goose heaven and Shifu is being so friendly and letting us film and eat the Guangdong roast goose. Oh, the juice is just bursting. That is absolutely gorgeous. Roast goose made with the traditional method in an oven with lots of coal. Oh, yes. Thai Piao Liang. Thai Can, Thai Hao Can. <laughs> so we're gonna get that. Hi, oh, nigga, cha shao, dema. Oh, yeah. Ni, ni fang shama, shama jiang, jiggish shama jiang. Jigga yunji. Yunji. Jigga yunji. Jai, jigga. Oh, jigga yunji. Oh, the roast goose drippings. He's just gonna pour it all over. Oh, wow. 
Wow, that is roast goose delight. Oh, and xiangda, turbia xiangda. Oh, the roast goose drippings are just mm. full of joy. So we are getting the liver and the barbecue pork and the goose triple combo. And this is gonna be heaven. Just look at the cha shao. He hasn't chopped it yet, but they cover that in their secret sauce. I'm guessing it's gonna be super nice and sweet. And then he's gonna cover the liver with the goose drippings. Oh, look at the fat on there. Look at the combo. The lean meat, the fatty cha shao. Oh, jiga tai hao kan la. Shifu jiga jiga fei chang xiang da. Oh, that is a beautiful combo. Oh, isn't that incredible? Oh, the name of the feng mi. You know, the du jia mi feng, the secret sauce. Oh, gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Hi, Piao Lian. 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 Hi, Piao this is the soul here, guys. He covered it in the goose drippings and their secret sauce. I'm guessing it's gonna be sweet, maybe plum and honey. And then we've got the roast goose. Look at this crispy skin. Cooked downstairs in that coal oven, covered in goose drippings. Oh, that is this traditional method. And you can really see why. That is just absolutely saturated with the juice. Oh, we're gonna have to go right in for that. Mm. Oh. Oh wow. Thai hot chill. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, this cha cha I Oh. Yeah. This cha cha yeah. And then the The meat is so soft. And then the weight is And the Okay. So you take some goose liver, you take some of the cha shao barbecue pork, and you dip it in the sauce, and you eat it together. Oh, that looks amazing. Mmm. That is absolutely flavorful, juicy, fatty, and combined with the liver. It's like a buttery liver. You take those two together. The goose liver, it's buttery. It's so silky smooth. And then you've got that amazingly sweet. You can actually taste almost like honey and plum sauce mixed together. And the shifu is just so friendly. Yes, yes, shifu. Tai haula. You can tell they've been making this for generations. Next up, we made our way deep into a local alleyway in Shunde to try the must-eat local dessert, Shuang Pinai, aka double skin velvety milk custard. Right up ahead, there is a famous Shuang Pinai joint, double skinned milk, a famous Cantonese dessert, and we are right in the local neighborhood. Should be good. We found it. Look at this, guys, right in a little neighborhood, Shuang Pinai. Ni hao. Wo kai chi yi ge Shuang Pinai ma? Ke yi a. Hai yi ge Shuang uh, Look at this. All the Shuang Pinai and buffalo milk. Uh, oh, that is it right there. This is Shuang Pinai. Fresh buffalo milk. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, double milk. Oh, double milk. We just found a little joint right in this local little alley to have a couple local specialties here. The shuang pinai here, which is double skinned milk, and then shui nunai, which is water buffalo milk. And both of these are hot. My hands are burning right now. I really want to try this water buffalo milk. Oh. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is sweet. It's like a strong, sweet milk. Mm. Oh yeah. So this is the double skin Cantonese dessert. It's made here in Shunde, the birthplace of the Shuang Pinai. And basically it's a milk custard made from milk, egg whites, and sugar. And there's a skin on top. Oh yeah, look at that. Sweet custardy goodness. Where are you from? Mm. Canada. Canada. Oh wow. Hello. <laughs> mm. Oh it's sweet, custardy. Velvety. Mmm. And you can taste the eggs in there for sure. Nice. We got a ton of street food to eat today. We're gonna keep exploring. Look at this beautiful alley. Bye-bye. <laughs> After that amazing dessert, we made our way outside of Shunde to the countryside in Jun'an to find a local neighborhood to try some super local Shunde dishes like Chinese carp sashimi, fried cicadas, and more. But first, along the way, we stopped right on the side of the road to try a couple more roadside desserts in an old traditional building. So we are on the way to a big Cantonese feast in Junan outside of Shunda and just stopped on the side of the road here to have a special street snack. Neha. Look at the menu here guys. These are all the different desserts you can order here right on the side of the street. We got Dohua, silken tofu. In southern China it should be sweet. We have Guilin Gao, it's a bitter jelly, Chinese medicine jelly. Yangfen, this one should be less bitter, a little more sweet. And then we got jirmahu, like a sesame pudding. We got hua shenghu, a peanut pudding. We got lu dou sha, which is green bean pudding. And hong dou sha, which is red bean. And they are just, I think we're gonna order up some dou hua and try it out. What can I eat a dou hua? ma? Hayo I eat green lingao? Yeah, dou hua, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, long da, long da. Thank you. Thank you. What's the one? Look at this guys, classic Chinese medicine dessert. Guilin Gao actually was originally made, the main ingredient was tortoise shell. They don't do that anymore and now it's just packed full of tons of traditional Chinese medicine ingredients. So a lot of the time it'll have a ton of different roots and flowers like honeysuckle, dandelion, lots of different rhizomes and roots and traditional Chinese medicines that should give it a bit of a bitter flavor. And then there's also sweet honey in there. So it should be bitter and sweet. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. This is Douhua. And what is so cool about Douhua, this silken tofu, is that all over Asia, you can actually have different flavors. Sichuan has mala, numbing, spicy, and fragrant. Southern China has sweet. Mm. Oh, that is refreshing. Oh, the tofu is very silky smooth. Cold and refreshing. You taste a little honey in there. It's a really nice roadside snack here. Cantonese food is some of the best in the world. And for our final meal, we had a ton of extremely unique Cantonese delicacies in Jun An. We are now in Jun An. This is a classic Cantonese neighborhood. Look where we are, old Canton style. It's hard to find this nowadays. And just right up here, there is a famous Cantonese joint. I've heard it's got a lot of great Cantonese food and a lot of interesting stuff too, like Chinese sashimi and more. Let's go try it out. Yeah. Oh. Local little Cantonese joint. And I think they might let us in to see the kitchen. Oh wow, she's taking us in the back. Oh, there's snakes. Oh wow, 
可以拿起来的，不怕的。可以吗？可以啊，轻轻的。哦，那就可以了。这个怎么做？这个是炒的还是煮的？我等一下给图片给你看。椒盐，椒盐，粥，哦，还有蒸，小心哦。OK， so you can you can steam it and or you can have it in a salt and pepper. 哦、oh, ，还有什么东西？青蛙哦，青蛙，都有 ，and there's frogs too. This is really cool. We get to see the back kitchen. Look at this, guys. We are in the kitchen, and this oh, they're cutting open the snake. We are gonna have that. This snake is how to do it. It's cooked. 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 Okay. So they're gonna steam the snake and the eggs. Cooked, ma? Yes. Cooked the turkey. Yes. Oh, so they're gonna put the snake right into this big steamer here. I can't believe it. We are in a local Cantonese kitchen. This is as real as it gets. We're just gonna watch them cook some stuff up here and then feast. After watching the chef steam the snake and the snake eggs in dates, garlic, and ginger, we watched the cutting of the local grass carp into sashimi. That is ultra fresh sashimi. Literally just killed it 90 seconds ago. And it's being sliced up into sashimi, and we are gonna have a big feast. Wow, this, this is really delicious. This is great, and I can't wait to try this. This is local, deep down, authentic Shundu Meishu Shundu food. And then we're also having fish heads. This is what? Oh, Lingyi. So we're gonna have these little fish heads. Toss in the. This is fish. Ah, fish. And swan. Oh, so there's there's fermented black beans, garlic, oyster sauce. Oh, 太好看了 This kitchen is just full of action. And now he's just fried up some cicadas for us. Just frying up those cicadas in a bit of ginger, oh, and peppers. Oh, look at that! Monster cicadas. Wow! And Xiangda, look at that! We just got a huge plate of fried cicadas. This is gonna be a beautiful meal. Wow! Nama duo, tai bang la. Thank you, man. This is beautiful. Oh. We've got sashimi, we got snake, we got fish head, cicadas. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this guys, we've got the shudan. Oh, those are firm. These are the snake eggs. Oh, this is absolutely crazy. Oh. Oh, it's hot. It tastes like a hard-boiled egg yolk. Actually, very similar. Mm. Look at these fried cicadas. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, it smells sweet. Double cicada. Mm. Oh, really earthy. Mm. Oh, once you get deeper into there, it does have a bit of a a soily. I don't know if I like that. It kind of tastes like, like dirt with peppers and garlic. And then we've got these little fish heads steamed with fermented black beans and garlic. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure where the meat is, but we're gonna try that out. Mm, it's one of those things you gotta suck the fatty bits out of. That's the, that's the pleasure in it. It's just slightly spicy with fermented black beans. I think. What the locals love is just sucking around the bones and getting the fatty bits off. And the flavor is really what it's all about. After enjoying a little bit of the fried frogs and their ultra soft salt and peppery flesh, a local man who was sitting nearby came over to introduce to me how to eat the grass carp sashimi. So we're gonna get a lesson into the sashimi. Oh, oh, fang yi yo. Oh, mix it with the sesame oil. 
จใจเย็นเย็นโอ้จใจถึงทางโอ้ซอสเชกเกอร์ใช่กามาสามารถเป็นที่ไม่ยอมสิงกระชายโอ้ไฮเอาจิกะในจงชี้สามารถจะซาสามารถโอ้จีก็สักขันกันโอ้สวันสวันเขาสักขันกันโอ้สวันเขาใช่หลังอะไรอีเจโอ้ไฮเอาช่องใจเยี่ยมหนูมาโอ้我们要找小小哦 ，lemon grass， 小小，好不？一点点哦，太好了，搞定哦，来试一下啦，试一下，好，看见我自己搞，好，我是自己搞，太棒了 ，add some of that sesame oil， 哦 ，beautiful， 然后放一点糖，放一点盐，糖，哦 ，beautiful，just a little salt，little sugar。哦，还有芝麻，辣辣海，哦，然后卷卷，嗯，卷卷，卷卷，哦，辣什么的，然后，哦，我放一点蒜头，嗯，太辣 ，Oh that's a lot of， and some of this， lemon grass， and some onion， beautiful， 可以啦，可以了吗？嗯，这个鸡这个姜丝要可以杀，可可以吃吧？哎，可以吃了，我们一起吃，啊好。嗯，这个太好吃了。嗯，这样子。哦哇 ，OK。谢谢你的介绍。啊啊。哦哇 ，so friendly。哦 ，the sesame， the sweet sugar， 谢谢。是啊。太好吃了。嗯。这样子，一定要这样子。太好吃了。Well, that is how you do it. The sugar, the sesame, the sesame oil, the lemongrass. Oh, there's a strong lemongrass flavor in there. Mm, that is absolutely delicious. Although some of the more unique dishes we ordered were not incredibly satisfying, make no mistake, the food here was top notch. You just have to order some of the more regular Cantonese dishes, like fried noodles, steamed fish, or spare ribs, and you'll be basking in the pure joy of Cantonese cooking for sure. This has been some of the best Cantonese food of my life. I would love to hear from you in the comments below, and make sure you click that subscribe button and the little bell notification button so you don't miss any of these deep street food tours and you can check out our travel eat repeat and our Thai howla merch in the description below thanks so much for watching